and a broom. A retelling by Teacher Mike, based on the popular picture book by Julian Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. A full moon shined in the sky on a calm night as a witch flew on her broom. What did she have in her hand? It's a cauldron. Why was she carrying a cauldron? Where is she going? She seemed very happy as she whooshed past the stars and over the mountains towards a little stream. But then she heard some sad meows. Meow. 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 They were coming from the stream. Who is it? It was a lost cat sitting by a stream. The cat called. I am a cat, as lean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a cat like me? The witch thought. Poor little cat. She needs my help getting back home. As she is lean, she can easily fit next to me on my broom. There is plenty of room on the broom. The witch called back. Yes. She swished her wand and conjured. Hockety hickety hackety hair, fly up to me here. There was a flash, and oh no, that spell went wrong. The cat now had a big head of funny hair. Oops! Cried the witch. She swished her wand and started again. Ickety zickety zackety zoom! Fly up to my little broom. The cat went back to normal, and there was a flash. Wow! Can you see? The cat was now flying. It zipped through the air and up to the witch's broom. Wow! Where it sat on the front with a lovely smile. The broom flew on, carrying the witch and the cat with ease. The witch and the cat flew over a field. Suddenly, whoosh, a gust of wind caught the witch's hat, and it was blown down into the bushes. and the witch flew back and forth. Then they flew back and forth again. And once more, but could not see the witch's hat anywhere. Where could it be? Can you see the witch's hat? I found it, said a muffled voice. A dog poked out of the bushes with the hat in his mouth. He dropped the hat, wagged his tail, and said, "I found your hat." The witch was so happy she swished her wand. Eagerty, diggerty, daggerty down! Come back to the top of my crown. There was a flash, and her hat popped back on her head. The witch was very thankful and asked the dog if there was anything she could do. The dog called, "I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me?" The witch thought, "His keen eyes help me find my favorite hat. He could help me find my hat again if I should lose it again." And there is room on the broom. She called back. Yes. She swished her wand and conjured. Oggerty tiggerty taggerty toy, come up to me like a good boy. There was a flash, and oh no, that spell went wrong. 
the dog was now a toy! Oops! cried the witch. She swished her wand and started again. Ziggity ziggity zaggity zoom! Fly up to my little broom! The dog went back to normal and... Look! He was flying up to the witch's broom! He sat on the back with a lovely smile. They all looked very happy. But the broom creaked. Yet still it flew on, carrying the witch, the cat and the dog. <laughs> the witch, the cat and the dog flew high up over the mountains. Oops! The witch dropped her wand. Oh no, this is bad. The wand might break from this fall. It tumbled down and down. But quickly, a bird swooped in and caught the wand. The bird brought the wand back to the witch and asked, I am a bird, as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? The witch thought. Poor little bird. He looks very tired. He needs a rest. And there is some room on the broom? She called to the bird. Yes! The bird sat on top of the cat's head. The broom groaned loudly, but still it flew on, carrying the witch, the cat, the dog and the bird a little closer to the ground. As it's getting heavier on the broom, the broom moved slower and lower. They could see animals in the grass, and there was a frog in the grass. It was far from any water. The frog cried out, I am a frog, as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? The witch thought, Poor little frog! She needs water, so I can't leave her there. And there is a little bit of room on the broom. The witch called to the frog. Yes! And she conjured, Ockety mippity mackety mop, come up to me in a hop. There was a flash and, oh no, that spell went wrong too. The frog is a mop! Oops! cried the witch. She swished her wand and started again. Ziggity ziggity zaggity zoom! Fly up to my little broom! The frog went back to normal and... Wow! The frog flew up with a big smile! She then gently landed down on the witch's broom. The broom creaked and squeaked. It did not heed and it lost speed. Then there was a crack and a snap. The witch, the cat, the dog, the bird and the frog fell down. A hungry fire-breathing dragon saw the witch tumbling about in the sky. The dragon gleamed. I am a dragon as mean as can be, and I am planning to have witch and chips for my tea. <laughs> the dragon flew up into the sky and chase the witch. The witch drove the broken half of her broom. It zapped and popped, fizzled and sizzled, 
but it could no longer zoom. <coughs> the witch fell and bumped her head on a tree. <coughs> the dragon scooped her up. But before he could fly away, a gruesome, spooky monster rose out from the mud. The monster shrieked, barked, squawked, and croaked. The monster then cried, No, 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 of you. Dragon had never seen nor heard such a spooky monster. It dropped the witch and flew off scared. What is that? It's horrible! <laughs> but the monster was not as it seemed. Can you see what it is? It was just a very muddy cat dog, bird, and frog. The witch saw how the cat, dog, bird, and frog had saved her life and rushed to them for a hug. But they now needed a new broom. The witch's cauldron was filled with sweets for all the children. So she needs to get back before Halloween night. They started a fire and the witch began brewing a potion in her cauldron. She conjured, Ickety zickety zackety zoom! Make me another magnificent broom! The cauldron flashed and... Look! A broom appeared! It had a chair for the witch, a chair for the cat, a chair for the dog, a nest! for the bird, and a bath and shower for the frog. The broom was also much faster and zoomed on, carrying the witch, the cat, the dog, the bird, the frog, and the cauldron filled with sweets. It was truly a magnificent broom. They could now fly back to their warm and lovely homes before Halloween night starts. I hope you really enjoyed the video and it wasn't too scary. If you really love Halloween, you can get some free masks and some fun activities. Just go to fatcatbooks.uk or check the link in the description.